Today's about really reflecting on 20 years worth of relationships with Northern France. I think we've found a huge value in working together across the two regions. What we want to do is to put forward to visitors the idea of being able to stay in a bicultural destination, really. It's amazing how many options become available with close cooperation. There may only be 21 miles between England and France, but in many ways the gulf between our two countries could be perceived as wider by many. But Kent County Council and their equivalent in Par de Calais, the Conseil General, have met at the stunning Leeds Castle to try and strengthen the relationship between the two regions. Today's about really reflecting on 20 years worth of relationships with Northern France, reflecting on where we've got to, and more importantly, I think, about where we might go into, into the future together. He actually managed to attract quite significant European funding, funding into the county as a consequence of this relationship to finance a whole range of activities from education through to training, through to health, ageing, telehealth, all those sorts of issues. But just as importantly, really, is about we share common problems. It's far easier when you get two heads together to actually try and solve some of those problems. In real terms, we have already produced in 17 months £5.8 million pounds of direct benefit from the European Commission because with the help of our partners, we have been able to identify and secure the approval of the European Commission to spend money in certain areas. All of these benefits we are able to achieve by swapping master plan for master plan and it's amazing how many options become available with close cooperation. It follows a meeting last year where Kent County Council were welcomed to the reopening of Hudelow Castle which was dedicated to the two regions with French and British exhibitions to celebrate their partnership. Many areas were discussed in the meeting, such as adult social services, high-speed rail links and many tourist initiatives. One example of the successful relationship between the two regions was shown in 2009 in a joint programme called the Channel Hop. Last year was the centenary of Louis Blériot flying from France, from Calais, to England, the first uh, aircraft to cross the Channel. Yes, it was a French aeroplane, and yes, it was a French pilot, but they promoted France, Pas de Calais, and Kent. And part of this rapprochement, and make no excuse for using the word, is that we work very closely with the politicians in Calais. And what we've come up with is a joint strategy which really delivers not just the money, but it delivers the attraction. That's tourism, but it's not the be-all and end-all. There are other opportunities. <laughs> Tourism remained a central discussion point with several areas being touched upon. Today we were here to celebrate as much as anything the five million euro win we had from Europe um, for our two interreg projects. One to celebrate the coastline and to pr promote it and the other to promote Kent and Pas de Calais in the run-up to London. 2012 Olympic Games. I think we've achieved a tremendous amount today. Um, we really needed for our project to be credible, to ensure that everybody, either side of the channel, the, the deciders, uh, were aware of what we were doing and we need, we desperately need their support to be able to pull it off. Um, the GREET project is one which relies on us being able to work with different departments within the council, like education, social services, um, culture, and, um, and so we needed to have their support to, to, to pass the message on to these different departments. Um, it's a major project, it's, uh, it's a project that is worth about four and a half million euros. Uh, half of that amount is going to be financed by Europe. 
And, um, and so within the project, we have put joint operations, uh, which will enable us to prepare what we're now calling the Transmanche region, so Kent and Nord pas de calais um, to welcome the world during the Olympic Games. Particularly at this time, with the time of economic difficulties, um, the need for cooperation is even greater. And I think we've found a huge value in working together across the two regions. Um, we can learn from each other's experiences. We share some of the same markets. And some of our seaside towns, particularly in coastal areas, share the same sort of problems. So I think particularly now, now is the time to cooperate even more. And in the next 10 years, we believe the partnership between Kent and Padicale will become even stronger than it has ever been.